Welcome everybody, it's Mr. B here with my guide to surviving the first seven days in the forest. We're currently on day three of that survival. Now in front of us we have the seven day survival goals. So let's just go over each of those goals one at a time. Now at the moment we have plenty of food but we don't have plenty of water. We do have plenty of soda however but that's a finite resource and can run out so we can't call that one complete at the moment. We do have the ability to collect and store water, however it's just unfortunately not rained as of yet, so there is no water to collect. So I think we can call that one checked off. Now we do, at the moment, not have a good strong defensive settlement. We've not got the ability to defend ourselves and absorb attacks. We do have armour, but we haven't proven that yet because we've come up against no cannibals as yet. We haven't really explored the surrounding area either. Uh, we're not in a position to do that as yet. We're not prepared to explore the island as yet. We do have food, but we don't have anything else. We don't have decent weapons as yet, and we don't have any good armor. We just have lizard skin at the moment, and we don't have somewhere to call home. So over the next few days, we will check each of these off. Now at the moment, as you can see, we don't have many Day 3 survival goals. We only have three, but you'll see as we go through the video the reason for that. But we want to build a stone axe, mainly because we will be chopping down a lot of trees. And in absence of the modern axe, this is the kind of next best option. It's uh, less strokes to cut down a tree than the plain axe, so that's why we build that. We also want to build a bow. Again, you'll find out why when we, we go through the video. And we want to build some defensive walls too, so let's get on and have a look at some general survival tips and then get on with the rest of the video. Okay, the general survival tips, as we've been over in previous videos, we need to look after our health. And I don't do this often enough, I don't look at the survival guide and I don't look at the, in particular, our stats page. So you need to look at that regularly to see if you're infected and what your stats are doing going up or down so that you can adjust your intake of food or your exercise accordingly. We need to heal ourselves regularly as well. We haven't come across any cannibals as yet, but you never know when that's going to happen, so you always need to make sure your health is at maximum. We also need to kill animals whenever we can because we need the food and the skins that they provide. Gather stick stones and herbs. Sticks, as I've said many, many times, and I'm repeating myself, are the most important resource in the game, so gather them whenever you can. Collect resources whenever you can. If you see any alcohol lying about or or any coins or any anything at all that's been left behind in cases, for example, or left scattered about, always pick them up and collect them because you don't know when you're going to get them again. Always listen, particularly when you're making a lot of noise like chopping down trees. Always listen for those cannibals making noises or running up behind you. That could actually save your character's life. Don't go hungry. It affects your stats and obviously it affects your energy as well and your ability to run away from danger at the very least. And don't go thirsty for the same reasons, but in addition to that, if you do go thirsty, you will take damage and die. So let's get on with day three of our survival in the forest. So here we are guys back at the plane base on day three of our journey through the forest to survive the first seven days. So let's jump onto the plane and gather those resources that respawn when we actually load the game. Remember, when you load the game, the resources respawn on the plane. So we get meds, we get food, we get soda, and we get alcohol. Now whether this is going to be a loophole that the devs fix at some point or not, I don't know. But we're going to use it to our advantage at the moment to survive the first seven days. But we're only going to do it for another couple of days and then we're going to stop because we need to survive on our own so this just gets us through the first few days so we're going to store the resources just now on the cabinet because i'll tend to put meds at the top sodas in the middle and alcohol at the bottom but i don't get too ocd about it Ooh, what we've we got here that looks like a wabbit yay let's put them in a cage with the others or would just dropped him on the ground. <laughs> there he goes. Oh well. Okay. Hmm. Be free, my rabbit. Oh, there's another one. Let's replace him. And let's make sure we put him in the cage this time. Another one. 
Yeah, we're getting a bit rabbit overcrowding here. And another. I think we're really needing to build another rabbit cage. We're going to be reported for rabbit overcrowding if we don't sort this out. Got plenty of sticks. Going to need to gather lots more of them for the plans we have for today. So have three to four rabbits a cage. Don't have any more. So as I was saying, we're going to need to fill up this basket. We're going to need to gather lots of sticks for the plans that we have. Because today we're actually going to build the walls for our base. Yes, we are. So for that, or for the defensive spikes round about it, we're going to need lots of sticks and lots of stones. This is the first sign of cannibal activity in the area. This is an effigy that they have built and left near our base. Now we need to hope that this will be the last activity we see until we at least finish the base. But what it does tell us is the cannibals know we're here. So we're just going to keep gathering sticks in the meantime. And rocks. As I keep saying and I'm repeating myself over and over again. Sticks are the most valuable resource in the game. Got enough feathers. I think we should make a bow. So we need rope, which is seven cloth. We need a stick and we need one more cloth. We have a bow. So what we're going to have to concentrate on now is getting feathers as well from birds. I like to have my bow as number four. Always keep hydrated, always keep fed, try and not let your food levels or your hydration levels go down too much. Oh, we found a case. That was one we'd missed. So we're going to start building the walls now. Now I want it to come out from the plane but not too much. You don't want the pole intersecting with the plane too much. Because it may stop you moving around the plane. Unfortunately, it was at the side where the seats are, so it's not going to be much of a problem. Bring it down. We're going to need to destroy this skin rack, I think. We'll put it somewhere else. It doesn't take too many hits to destroy a skin rack. There's not much to it, but some sticks. So, it's going to be lots of chopping logs. And we're going to gather all those logs up. And build the defensive walls with them. So we'll get plenty of space at the back there. So it should be okay. Now you want to cut these trees down first. And you want to take the stumps out as well. Because what you don't want is them regrowing right in the middle of your defensive wall. Or in the middle of your base. If you try and chop a tree down. And it falls on top of the walls. It may take some of the walls out and you'll have to rebuild them. Oh, we've got a lizard, which is basically armour and meat. I'll have that. So lizards are basically walking meat and armour machines, which is great for us. Let's get that armour on. Awesome. Let's hang up that meat to dry. Plenty of food to keep us going, which is excellent. Now let's build a gate in our wall, defensive wall. There I think it's fine. Excellent. Oh, bird. And I missed. And I missed again. Oh, yes! Feathers are very valuable for our bow. What I want to build arrow-wise is some bone arrows. So we need some cannibals at some point as well. When you're chopping trees, they will actually fall down in the direction you are facing. Ah, rabbit, let it go. We've got far too many. Yeah, the tree will fall in the direction you're chopping at. So if you're facing north, 
while you're chopping, the tree will fall north. Another walking food armor thing. Nine times out of ten, you end up hitting the trap when you're trying to take these guys out. So maybe chop the stumps. We don't want too many trees near the base either, whether they're inside or not. Just try and keep them away. Because they obstruct your view. Because what we're going to do is we're going to build a tower over the top of the wall so that we can actually stand there and defend our walls with the bow. Now if we've got trees right round about the defensive walls, it's going to be more difficult to see the cannibals. So take them out when you can. I like to do three or four trees at a time. That one fell behind us. How did that happen? I think it's possibly because that was in a slope. That's a bit unusual. That just kind of completely messed up what I said to you earlier. When you're chopping the trees down as well, always make sure they're going to fall away from the walls. Because if they fall on the walls, as I said earlier, they can take it out. Ah! This tree had mushrooms in it, so it's got a bit inside it, so it's going to fall unpredictably, i.e. right on top of our wall. That's not good. So we're going to need to build another part of the wall now. So just be careful when you see mushrooms growing the side of trees. It's actually taken quite a while as well to chop these trees down. Now we can build a stone axe, which I'm going to do. So we need one rope, one stick, and one rock. Now this axe does swing more slowly. You don't want to use this against cannibals, for example. You want to use your plain axe against cannibals. Oh, that just missed that wall and no more. So yeah, the stone axe swings more slowly, but it does do more damage. You see? And it'll take less strokes to actually knock a tree down. Tends to be about 15, 16 for the plain axe. And maybe anywhere between 10 and 13. That, again, was very close. 10 and 13 for the uh, stone axe. It's getting quite late as well. I want this wall finished. running low on energy as well so at night when you're chopping trees always be vigilant let's get some energy back excellent get some food as well might as well get it now while we're here there's soda cans under the cabinet there. right yeah get the food at the back I think that's all the food gone on the plane just now So that's us built the gate. So we'll just get this one side left. 23 logs to get, which is about... You get 45 logs per tree. That's anywhere between 4 and 5 trees. But we'll get it done as quickly as possible. Because it's dark. The cannibals are out. And we're making an awful lot of noise. And we're done. So that's the defensive walls all done. That's our base and closed. Now, we're wanting to put additional spikes around the bottom of the defensive walls to give the walls additional strength. So let's have a look over the goals that we've achieved today. Day three of our seven day survival in the forest. So we only had a few goals for day three, but we've completed them all. So we did build a stone axe, we did build a bow, and we did build defensive walls. So while our day today was short, we did complete all of our goals, 
and more importantly we've built some defensive walls to defend ourselves against any cannibal attacks. Now they won't last long these walls against mutant attacks but fortunately because we're so early on in the game that's not really much of a problem but we will be strengthening those walls. So I'm going to end our journey here today guys. If you liked this episode please click the like button. If you like the content that I produce please share it and subscribe to the channel. Any and all feedback is always very much appreciated and encourage me to make more content for everybody to enjoy. And as always, enjoy the forest and be careful out there.